According to partial results released by the Electoral Commission, former coup leader Mohamed Ould Abdelaziz is poised to take just over 50% of the vote, enough to give him an outright victory. But his opponents say it's a sham. What we have seen is that this election is a farce. The different opposition candidates decided to show a united front. We, the presidential candidates, firmly reject these prefabricated results. Secondly, we call on the international community to put in place an inquiry to shed some light on the problems of the electoral process here in Mauritania. On Saturday, more than a million Mauritanians went to the polls to elect their new president. Voter turnout was 61% according to the Electoral Commission. The four opposition candidates said the electoral lists were manipulated. Few had thought Abdelaziz could avoid a runoff. It's complicated because what surprises me is that General Aziz is by far ahead of the other candidates. And people say that's just not possible. The polls were monitored by international observers from the African Union, the Arab League and the Association of Francophone Countries. But neither the UN nor the European Union, which cut aid following the coup, sent observers.